Hey designers on Facebook, what's up? Tip number one about working with a sewing contractor. No verbal instructions. Let me ask you a question. You ever go to the doctor, something big's going on. I remember going to, with my dad a lot when he was sick and that I'd finally wait for the doctor would finally come in. You know, you're waiting for him all day and he tells me what I'm supposed to do and he tells me all about my dad and I write down a few things and then he leaves and my mom comes in and says, hey, what did the doctor say? And I'm like, oh crap, I don't know. I only wrote down these three things I can't remember, okay? Same exact thing with manufacturing. When you go to the factory, no verbal instructions. You can talk to them all day long and then from experience I know they're gonna say, yes, 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 Jane. We got it, we got it, we got it. They are not gonna remember when you leave. And even if they did remember, it's not them who's sewing the goods. It's usually somebody else. So everything you tell the contractor has to be written down. And a very simple way to do this is just simply to get post-its, like little post-it notes with um, gold pins and pin on. So for instance, if I wanted a different kind of top stitching here, I would pin a post-it on and say, stitching is wrong, should be like this picture, okay? No verbal instructions. Go ahead and do the verbal instructions, but everything has to be backed up with a written explanation, or even better, a picture of how you want it. All right, that's tip one. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe, not maybe, we'll see you tomorrow for tip two. Have a great day, guys. Bye.